let's check on the cameras of this Moto Edge 40 Neo in this video. It comes with 12 camera setup on the back, 50 megapixel primary sensor with OS and 13 megapixel ultra wide sensor which can be used as macro lens as well. On the front we have 32 megapixel selfie shooter and if you check the camera UI we have these options night vision video you know slow motion then the night vision is not working with front camera which is quite strange portrait pro mode is there if you know how to tweak the settings then you can use them under more options we have these things if you use them let me in the comments if we check the shutter speed yeah it is good there is no lag but it is not so super fast yeah but still the camera UI is quite responsive no lag or delay in the UI so I haven't come across any issues yet okay so let's go outside and we'll be starting the you know test with the video samples first so let's get started here is a quick sample from the front camera the front camera can record up to 4k videos and this one is at you know 10 to be and you can see that the overall video quality is actually looking good the dynamic range is actually good not bad you know and let's walk faster to check the stabilization you can see that it is doing a good job yep i must say that it is doing a good job yep the overall video quality is actually looking good and i'm not using any gimbal or even any kind of you know external mic so you can check both the stabilization and the you know the sound capture as well you can see that the overall color reproduction is also good yeah it is actually good and it can handle the exposure as well yeah you can see that yeah not bad not that great but it is actually good and uh, the dynamic range is actually impressive now let's I know check 4k video because it can record 4k as well the front camera now this is 4k sample from the front camera and you can see that the quality is actually quite good yeah the dynamic range is good and uh, yes because you're getting this uh, 4k recording capability under 25,000 which is actually quite good because normally we don't say it uh, in phones you know under 25,000 yeah you can check that uh, overall the quality is looking good yeah you can check the color reproduction is also good yeah and the dynamic range particularly you can see that it is actually good not bad yeah it is actually good now let's walk faster to check the stabilization i think it was better at uh, p but still if you have a gimbal then you can actually use it because you will get a better quality yeah so actually it is quite impressive according to me now let's check this the rear samples the rear camera can record up to 4k videos but now I'm recording this video at uh, 1080p 60 fps and without turning on the stabilization so you can see that uh, the dynamic range is actually looking good and uh, yes it is looking good yeah and the quick movements are actually quite smooth yeah so OS it does make a difference you can see that uh, the dynamic range is actually looking good so let's walk faster to check the stabilization you can see that yes it is actually doing a good job the dynamic range is actually looking good okay let's walk faster to check the stabilization and you can see that it is actually doing good yeah I found that if you turn on the stabilization mode it simply crops the video yeah to give you a better view but as OS it's a hardware thing you can see that without turning on the you know the stabilization mode the software effect it is still doing a good job but still uh, it is not that seamless but I would say that uh, it is doing a good job yeah so let's walk faster again to check the stabilization so you can see that it is actually doing a good job not bad okay now let's record 10 to 60 fps uh, after turning on the stabilization mode now this is 10 to 60 fps with the stabilization mode uh, turned on you can see that it crops the video yeah and uh, it gives you a feeling that it is 
uh, more stable but I don't think it is making any difference you can see that uh, it is also almost the same yeah and you can see that the dynamic range is actually good yeah and uh, you can see it is actually doing a good job here okay and the quick shifts they are also quite uh, seamless yes there is a minor glitch here and there you can observe that okay so now let's check the focus okay yes the focus is good yeah the autofocus is working fine no problem here okay and again the dynamic range and let's walk faster yes it is doing a good job yeah so yes again let's check the color reproduction and the quick focus you can see that it is doing a good job okay so let's walk faster again to check the time you know the stabilization i can see that it is actually doing good yeah no problem yeah so what do you think let me know in the comments now let's check the focus sample. As I told you, there is a minor you know, glitch here and there, stutter I would say, you can see that. So now let's check uh, the focus sample. Now this one is 4K 30fps sample. This one cannot record 4K 60fps, so this is the limitation. And you can see that if you do quick movements, it is okay. And the quick shifts are actually good but I can say that it was better when we recorded at 10 it to be 60 FPS it is not bad but that was better you can see that the dynamic range is actually good yeah the overall video quality is looking good now let's walk faster and let's check this focus here you can see that the quick focus is actually good yeah it is actually good not bad yeah yes it is good you can check the dynamic range again let's walk faster so i must say that the video recording is actually good you can check the different colors here and it is actually looking good yes again the focus you can see that the focus is actually good not that very sharp yeah but it is actually doing a good job yeah not bad the dynamic range is actually good now let's walk faster again so overall I must say that you know you can record videos uh, using this camera setup yeah they are actually good not bad and if you have a tripod then you will get better results yeah so you can see that in at 4K, the quick shifts are not that smooth. Uh, it is having some kind of you know glitch here, but it is very minor. Yeah. So I'm actually happy with the results when it comes to video recording. Yep. Now let's check the stillest images. So first of all, let's start with some front selfies. The front camera is doing a good job. The overall image quality is looking good. You can see that color reproduction is very close to natural and color accuracy is there. You know, in most of the photos, you can see that the color of the t-shirt is very same. Okay. The skin tone complexion is looking very close to natural. The dynamic range is also okay. But here you can see that the sharp exposure is not well handled. This is one problem that I can see. Another thing is that uh, it over sharpens, you know, if you observe the skin tone, um, it over sharpens a bit. Otherwise, the overall image quality is looking good. You can see that the exposure is not well handled here as well. But the overall image quality when it comes to front selfie is quite good. Actually, you will love taking selfies with the front camera. Next, the portrait shots with bouquet effect. The front camera is actually doing a good job here. You can see that the overall image quality is looking good. The depth effect is actually good. And the detection is also good. The skin tone is very close to natural. A bit of vitification is there, but it is not looking odd actually. And the color accuracy is there. 
so overall image quality is actually good you can see that it is doing a good job but if there is sharp exposure challenging lighting it is struggling and you can see that it loses details but if there is good lighting good angle then most of the time it produces good looking image like this one so the front camera is actually doing a good job when it comes to taking portrait shots but the rear camera is actually doing something wrong and that is warmer tones they are on the higher side you can see that the color accuracy is not there yeah and the color reproduction is a bit uh, warmer and particularly i don't like this kind of color reproduction i like you know a bit of boosted is okay but it should be close to natural not that artificial so this is the problem here the edge detection depth effect detailing they are good yeah it's okay and if there is challenging light you can see that exposure is not well handled and if the lighting is a bit of challenging then you can see that it loses details as well and if we switch to non human object the same thing happens the colors they are warmer yeah and detailing is okay as i told you there is no problem here but i didn't like the color reproduction here okay and it doesn't have any problem when it comes to focusing and taking portrait shots it doesn't have any problem you can take portrait shots you know very fast without adjusting the distance but the color reproduction is an issue here the hdr photos they don't have the warmer tones issue here you can see that the overall image quality is looking good the dynamic range is also good and i have liked the detailing as well the color reproduction is very close to natural here and uh, it is actually looking good so you can see that even in a bit of uh, low light condition it is doing a good job here and if the lighting is really good here you can see that it can capture all the shades the shadows very well so hdr photos are actually looking good the wide angle photos are actually looking good because the dynamic range is good the overall photo quality the color reproduction the detailing it is actually looking good the hdr is working in wide angle shots as well so i'm actually happy with the quality the wide angle lens is producing here the macro mode can be used to take close up shots and you can see that it can capture good amount of details but you need really stable hands to adjust the distance and the focus so if you can do that then you can actually use the wide angle camera to take macro shots and you can see that the results they are actually quite satisfactory not bad but i have this question that do you really use the macro lens you know while using phones do let me in the comments so finally let's talk about the night photography or the low light photography the front camera does a decent job if you see these photos you can see that if there is adequate light it can capture good amount of details overall image quality is looking good and i've liked the color accuracy it is very consistent in most of the photos and you can see that the noise reduction is okay yeah if there is adequate light it can handle that yes so it's okay if there is adequate light but if the lighting is a bit of challenging one then you can see that the noise reduction is really poor and details they are not there and you can see that the noise reduction is actually really bad i would say the rear camera is also struggling to reduce noise if you check the sky here it is quite grainy so i believe that moto they have to work on the image processing for better portrait shots and better low light photography the hardware setup is there but they have to work on the image processing here so that we have polished results here you can see that it can capture details but as the overall color reproduction is not good and it is struggling to handle the exposure and reduce the noise the overall image quality is not that good it is quite average i would say and most of the time i found that moto devices they struggle to handle exposure and if the lighting is not good let me show you this it fails to capture details so the low light photography is quite average so i believe that after checking on the samples you've got a good idea about the cameras of this h14 neo according to me if your topmost priority is video recording and your budget is around 23 25000 then you can go for this one because it can record 4k videos with both the front camera and the rear camera and the video quality is actually good but yes if you're on the move you know traveling then you should have a gimbal and external mic to have better video quality and another good thing is that you can record continuous videos on it the phone does you know 
heat up a bit but it doesn't stop the video recording which is a very common issue in most of the mid mid range and budget phones but it doesn't have that problem so you can record continuous videos plus uh, you know you're getting os which makes a difference yeah so you can go for it if your topmost priority is video recording plus you know you're getting a really good value for this price okay the overall performance of this device is good but if your topmost priority is still images then you should avoid it because the still images are not good yes the selfie camera is okay but the portrait shots the night photography they are not the best if you compare the you know performance with other devices in the same price range okay so if your topmost priority is video recording then you can go for it Yep, so this is my opinion. So what do you think about it? Let me in the comments. And if you end up liking my videos, then don't forget to like, subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. So till the next video guys, cheers.